This just in, breaking news, there are riots, uh, revolting, people, uh, going nuts, uh, this is great, I gotta rile this up. Transformers, we want Transformers, we want Transformers, we want Transformers, we want Transformers, down with Pixel Dan, down with Pixel Dan, down with Flavor Dan, down with Flavor Dan, we want Transformers, we want Transformers, we want Transformers. Okay. They, they want uh, Transformers reviews, and it looks like they're really uh, fighting to get Transformers reviews onto that new toy smell. And I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing that uh, Flava Dave has a statement, uh, an official statement on behalf of that new toy smell. Let's go to Flava Dave. We here at the Pop Culture Network are aware that a few malcontents are making a lot of noise about Transformers. But I assure you, the majority of our viewers are quite happy with Pixel Dan decreeing that this is a no transformer zone. There are plenty of other little websites that are perfectly good for those Transformatrons, and we've decided to focus on quality toys here at the Pop Culture Network. There is no problem, there is no uprising, there is nothing to worry about. Be calm. All is well. Oh man, I can really get him going on this one. Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's see if there's an update from the writers. We want Transformers. We want Transformers. We want what? Transformers. We hey, want hey, guys, Transformers. Guys, we got him on the ropes. We, let's go. Let's go and fade. Come on, we can take him. Okay. All right. So the rioters are uh, storming. Pixel Dan's uh, Fortress of uh, Solitude, and so uh, we're uh, we're gonna go cover it live. <laughs> yeah, yeah Transformers! Take that, Transformers! Oh, yeah, it's all about that. the Transformers. How's the Transformers? You never did on the Transformers. Yeah, it's Transformers. Yeah. Woo! Take yeah, we the did power. it. Take Take it. Right. All right, guys, we did it. Yeah. We did it. All yeah. right, now. Now we can run Transformers review. So get your review. Let's run your review. Your Transformers review. This whole thing has been so we can run Transformer reviews. Where's your review? I don't have a review. Do you? Do you have a review? No, I don't have any Transformers. You don't buy I don't have any Transformers. I don't have any hey, Transformers. Hey guys, what? guys, what? over oh, here. Hey. What's that? I got a Transformers oh, yeah. review oh, ready yeah, to go. Okay. Listen, yeah, that works. All right. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. As I've mentioned in a few places recently, the end of 2010 saw me starting to get back into Transformers for the first time in over 20 years. Upon returning to the franchise, a new line called Power Core Combiners had recently been launched. Hasbro has seemingly left nebulous where exactly in continuity the Power Core Combiners fit in, as a lot of the groups and individuals share names with G1 Transformers, while others seem to fall more in line with the live-action movie canon. Any way you stretch it, the only concrete backstory is that Power Core Combining is an ancient Transformers technology that was somehow rediscovered on Earth by the Autobots, and of course, stolen by the Decepticons. The Power Core Combiners do pretty much just that, combine. They consist of approximately Scout class scale Transformers called Commanders with three modes. They have the normal robot mode and vehicle or alt mode that one expects, nothing too outstanding by themselves really. Each commander, however, also has a third mode called power-up mode, in which they take the form of a torso and combine with four drone vehicles to form a larger scale robot. 
Now I know that all the original combining transformers consisted of five or six individual transformers forming the big guy, but the power core combiners are much more simplified. The drones have no robot mode and are only capable of being vehicles or big robot limbs. The concept here in theory is actually pretty cool in that the way the drones are supposed to work is automatic transformation. When you have your commander in power-up mode, he has four protruding cubic blue pegs. Somewhere on each drone is a square-shaped insertion point. When you insert the peg into the drone, it automatically transforms into one of the big robot's limbs. A limb can go on either the right or left side of a commander, but only in the anatomically correct place, as they are either an arm or a leg, never both. The power core combiners are sold in one of two ways. First are the five packs of power core combiner teams, including a commander and four drones. We've seen the Combaticons featuring Bombshock and his team of military vehicle drones, but there's also the Destructicons, consisting of Mudslinger and his team of heavy duty vehicle drones. The Aerial Bots, made up of Skyburst and his team of air vehicle drones. and the Rally Bots, consisting of Double Clutch and his team of race car drones. The other way that the Power Core Combiners are sold are in two packs, consisting of Commanders, with what anyone who knows me knows will definitely make me a happy camper, little Minicon Partners. While the Commander works exactly the same way as those in the five packs, the Minicons have... wait, where the... Mini cons anywhere? I, I I don't know what I did. <gasps> oh my God! How could she do this? Oh, oh God! I'm so sorry. While the commanders work exactly the same way as those in the five packs, the mini cons <coughs> the mini cons have four different modes they can take to help their commander out. Aside from robot mode, they can transform into vehicle weapon, robot weapon, or power up armor. The first two waves of commander two packs consist of searchlight with backwind. Huffer with Caliburst Leadfoot with Pinpoint Smolder with Chopster Ice Pick with Chain Claw and Sledge with Throttler. Now here's where one of the perks of the Power Core Combiners lies. All Commanders are completely compatible with any and all drones and minicons. If you want to, you can hook the Combaticons up to Smolder instead of Bomb Shock, or attach the Rally Bots to Huffer rather than Double Clutch. And not only can you attach any Minicon to any Commander, but each drone has a Power Links plug, enabling Minicons to attach to them too. Of course, the line is not without its faults. For one, there's no denying just how awkward and ill-proportioned some of the large robots are. You've got arms of differing lengths and sizes, which is visually unappealing. Sometimes the legs don't quite balance out either, making standing your power core combiner up extremely difficult. Some of the other problems I have, I'm unsure whether they're universal or if I just got duds. 
I've experienced drones that won't pop into limb mode on their own. Wrong parts on many cons. And uncooperative commanders while in their power-up modes. I realize that this is not a line designed with collectors in mind, and it's not likely that kids would have too much problem with any of the aesthetics. However, I'm pretty sure kids still need to be able to transform the transformer without breaking it. There are other sets and commanders that have since come out or are on the way. Some of them are simply recolored figures with new names, but others are all new. For the price of around $10 for a 2-pack and $15 for a 5-pack, I guess I'm still interested enough to consider picking up a few of the newer ones, but I simply cannot wholeheartedly recommend the line based on my experience. But that's just my take. Hello everybody, we the People's Revolution are here to answer your forum questions. Now first question is from Sleepless Night. He asks, my first question is directed at Dirt, who I know is a huge Tron fan. After watching TNTS number 79, I went on a mad Tron toy buying spree looking for everything I can. During my searches, I found out that the UK exclusive version of the Recognizer carry case. <laughs> it has lights and sounds and hard to make angles, more faithful representation of the movie film compared to the glorified Tupperware container that we got in the North American toy line. And it comes with light tanks. Light tanks? Yeah. And here's a link. Link in the description. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Hey, let me click that link. Oh, wow. Look at that. It says, now that you know of his existence, how choked up are you that we can't get this awesome toy here? Actually, it is, it is pretty cool. The one... The recognizer carrying case that we got in North America is, like he says, basically glorified Tupperware. It's just a snap-open case, and you put the little die-cast uh, vehicles in it and shut it. And we saw it on the review a couple weeks ago. But the one in the UK does have LED lights, it makes sounds, uh, and it comes with a complete set of uh, die-cast figures, including the, uh, the ships, the jets. It's got a couple light tanks in there, it's got light cycles. It is fabulous and it's a hundred dollars if you want to buy it on eBay uh, 50 bucks if you can buy it directly from someone in the UK plus shipping which I'd probably be willing to pay if I could find somebody who still had it in stock but unlike the $20 Tupperware cases that we have here that's completely sold out so if I find one or if we have any UK fans just want to buy one and ship it over hey let me know all right next question uh, let's see. Looks like Apcoletron5675. I'm sorry. I can't read. Good. Or well. It just wants to know why does... It just want to know why does Pixel Dan hate everything Transformers? Well, it's actually... Hey, 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 hey you hey, quiet hey, down. Hey, hey. I don't have, I don't have an answer. answer. Do you have an answer? No. You have bad morals. I just bad don't want you morals. answering, but I don't have an answer. He has bad morals. Mama raised him wrong. He do no good. Bad seed. Okay. Evil born spawn. Darkness. Friend of yours, actually. Friend of mine. Yeah. Good friend. Good friend. Actually, the darkness. Best friend. man in his wedding. Really? Wow. No. That's a sign of good friendship. No. no. Quiet down. Next question. <laughs> Settle down, you. Jordan Owens, 26. A great member on the forums. He has two questions. Uh, two? Question is dope. Wait, 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 wait. Two questions? Hey, 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 we're not allowing two questions now, okay? This is a new time period for that new toy smell. We're allowing two questions. He wants to know, question one, if we'll be at the National Sports Collectors Convention in Rosemont, Illinois. Actually, we... Well, you're not gonna get no, any. I'll let you answer that one. No, I we're not. That one. <laughs> I got nothing. Be All right, now, quiet, you. Quiet. Yeah. Sports, not so much. Talk to Scotty Cash. Scotty Cash at PopCultureNetwork.com. Scotty Cash will definitely be there. Love okay. sports. Question Dose. Any chance for a review on the Wheeled Warriors? 
I, you know, I have one Wheeled Warrior left in my collection. Do you have any Wheeled Warriors? No. I okay, don't. quiet, you. Enough about you. Uh, if I had a lot of Wheeled Warriors, I would love to actually cover it, but like I said, I only have one left. So if I can find a lot on eBay, uh, not like a lot, but a lot, a, a big group I could buy as a group, uh, we, maybe we could do something on Wheeled Warriors. Quiet, you. Next question. Okay, and let's see, you got another question from Spectre M91. Who wants to who writes in? <laughs> Dear guys at the Pop Culture Network, I am a huge fan of the Lord Killer. But enough about him, let's talk about toys. And maybe, Wait, did he actually? It may be him again. Did he actually write that? Is yeah, that what? Yeah, it's right here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think I saw that. He hopes things are going well, which they are going amazing. Revolution. Uh, he just got one question, because he follows the rules. Has the toy ever surprised you? And he asked that because he finally identified an old Mario figure that had been he had had for about eight years, and it actually turned out to be a Wendy's Premium in uh, 02. Hmm. And despite that, it's one of the nicest Mario toys he's ever seen. Period. Did you ever eat at Wendy's? Yes, I Enough did. about you. And he also has a happy belated birthday. So wait, what's Bob, the Dan. We don't worry about that. What's the surprise? It was so nice and a happy meal? No, he didn't realize that it came from... More clarification. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Right and the toy surprised me. No, no, no. I take it back. Yes. One time I went downstairs and my daughter had moved one of my Legos onto the stair. So when I was walking down at night, I stepped on it. Oh, stepping on Lego. And Ooh. slid down the stairs. And surprise! You busted your head. <laughs> so yes, it has surprised me. <laughs> Actually, I have been surprised at the quality of some of the, the kids' meals toys in the last couple of years. Uh, some of the uh, action figures, like the Iron Man line. Uh, some of the uh, you know, the, the actual, what you would consider to normally see in like a three three quarter inch or six inch action figure line. The ones that they've been throwing into Happy Meals have actually been pretty decent the last couple of years. So that has been surprising me. What about you, intern Rick? Buy a lot of Happy Meals? I don't really buy a whole lot of Happy Meals. I'm 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 a two-fisted. Double. He's a very depressed guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot of Happy Meals. He needs a malaise meal. <laughs> On wee meal. Hey, 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 enough about you. Do you have a slightly depressed but trying to get over it meal? <laughs> <laughs> That's what on wee means. Hey, <clears throat> look at this guy. You shut your whole dictionary, man. Okay. This guy. This guy. Hey, pause. This guy. All right. Last last question. Last question. Last question. Dear Lord Killen. No. <laughs> oh, we already did that one. I call your bluff this time. Uh, let's see. Last one will be from Herman. Hi, Herman. The monster. What up, Herman? Hi, GI Dave and he Dan. Dan. Oh, good job with the Technodrome video. He can't hear you. You gave me a fun idea with the display, which is to have a Micro Turtles and villains fighting in front of the main Tinker Joe because it looked more on scale. Dan, non toy related question. With some of the news and rumors of the G.I. Joe sequel, so they just got to the reboot with no Marlon Wayans. And he says, yeah, that's a good idea. He likes that. So you're saying the next G.I. Joe movie should just be a reboot instead of a sequel? Is that the question? Yes. Without Marlon, Marlon Wayans? Wayans. Wayans. I think Marlon Wayans made that movie. I don't think that movie could have been a tenth of as awesome as I thought it was if it didn't have Marlon Wayans. Do you ever see White Chicks? Oh. Yeah. That, Oscar, that's basically no, no, G.I. Joe Part 2. That's G.I. Joe Part 2, Oscar right? nominated Marlon Wayans for... It's like G.I. Joe Undercover yeah. is that one. He also wants Actually, to know... he's not that bad in the film. Hey, hey! hey, hey. hey, hey. Uh, None of that. Uh. And he also wants to know, did they drop the ball at the Masters 2000 line by not releasing the three giants from the show the scale of the Road to He-Man Skeletor? I would have gotten one of them. Thanks for your time. I'll say yes. Yes. I'm pretty sure that Pixel Dan is very upset that he did not get more of his beloved 2000 X line. So you can pretty much count that if there was something to be released and he didn't get it, he's upset. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. If we're all here... And we took him down, and we took over the show. Where is Pixel Dan? Oh, well. Anyway. 
I guess that's going to wrap it up, and uh, the revolution will continue, right? Do we need to keep fighting the revolution? Uh, I think it's a battle that we need to forge forward. Why not? If people want more Transformers, we're going to keep fighting for more Transformers. Huh, Dave? Sure. Hmm. He's not amused. But you know what? We don't need him. He is in a chair. So at least he's comfortable. Revolution is spreading. No one expects the Revolution. Chair. Revolution! Chomp, 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 chomp! I think we've all learned a very valuable lesson today. That even though our, our love of toys can span many universes and many organic forms, that we all can join together and love something unitarily. So, in closing, good journey. Chong, 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 chong,